Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coast Gift Monday back at it once again. Kicking in for you and for yours. And um, as I said before, as I always do, we got to give thanks to the ancestors and the elders for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know, the things that be dropping on me, the jewels that be giving me and whatnot. You know, that I, I press on to y'all yeah, to bring down what bring me to number two. Just thank you for watching and subscriber. You know what I'm saying? Much love to y'all, you know. As we drop this knowledge of African history. Um, we back in again, you know, doing a Liberator. You know, this is a series about the Liberator magazine, a magazine by um Akari Bakari, a black culturalist, cultural masters, you know, group from Milwaukee Max and Martin Luther King and things of that nature. Matter of fact, um, we're gonna do one of the Martin Luther King speeches, one of his last speeches that he did in New York, New Jersey. I think it was about July, you know what I'm saying, before he, you know. Some time around then, before his death, because he went to New York, New Jersey, and spoke to him a couple of times. As I said before, this is the Liberate Magazine, and this is May 1965. Um, as we remember, for those who are stood in Black history, in African history in this land, all the United States of America, Malcolm X had died in February of this year. You know what I'm saying, in 1965. So it's the Liberator, as you see, guys, white man burden. Malcolm X, A Tragedy in Leadership, Snick in Danger, The Black Poets. As you see, Martin Luther King faces on the cover. You no, know, he knew both sides of the group. He knew Malcolm X and he knew, um, as I said before, he knew, and he knew Martin Luther King, you know, we didn't want to speeches they did with him. And, you know, it says Martin Luther King is twice the guy. And we're going to get to something different on this one. All right, we're going to get into something different on this one. This one is an article written by um, Joseph Jeffries, the Grand Sheik of the Moore Science Temple in Brooklyn, New York. You know, he was like this at the time, you know, and it shows one of the things. So, no Drew Ali has spoken. The reason why I picked this one because I never done a no Drew Ali video, and it was good to give an insight what uh, Moore's thought, the Moore Science Temple thought back then and how their ideas were and how am I kind of different from the way you hear more speak today or more still speak today. It depends on your point of view. So without further ado, we'll get into this. <clears throat> the Prophet Drew Ali has spoken by Joseph Jeffries Ailes. Many sons and daughters that are proud and handsome of a race which aspired to architecture in North Africa, carried into Spain and influenced his architectural temperament have become citizens of this nation. In the state of New York, there is this a more science temple of America made up of Moors who have found it here and there to end their quest of the home and of the children of those who journey from here from the plains of Africa. This organization has done much to bring about and throughout the absorption of these people of those principles which are necessary to make them good American citizens. We Moors Americans do not ask for social equality integration with the European, because we, as a clean and pure nation, descended from the inhabitants of Africa, do not desire to all the mate or marry into families of the pale-skinned nations of Europe. Neither do we serve their God, the gods of their religion, because our forefathers are true and divine founders of the first religion creeds, religious creeds, and of for redemption and salvation of mankind on this earth. Our divine and national movement stands for specific grand principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice to all mankind. We ask all American citizens to help us in our efforts of uplifting the fallen humanity among the Asiatic race and the nations of North America. For we have suffered much and severely in the past to a misunderstanding of what the movement is dedicated to do. This is the great Allah it is the great Allah alone that guides to the destiny of this movement. We are trying to build a nation. We are calling for on all true American citizens and others alike for moral and financial support. Our program consists of the establishing of the following. One, products to manufacture and sell. Two, markets to sell our products. Three, schools to advance our prosperity. Four, hospitals for those in need of medical care. 
five, recreational facilities for of our youth and age. Six, temples to propagate faith and extend the learning and the truth of the great prophet of Ali in America. Seven, newspaper to spread our interest and also unite our brothers and sisters throughout the world. Eight, housing for our people. Nine, jobs for our people in our own places of business. 10, all other projects which are necessary for building and maintaining a nation of people. If you have race pride and love your race, join the Moral Science Temple of America and become part of this divine movement. Then you will have power to redeem your race because you will know who you are and who your forefathers were because there is unity, there is strength. Together we stand and divided we fall. Come on, good people, because we know we are trying to redeem this nation from mental slavery, which you have need every one of you who think that your condition can be better. This is a field open to strong men and women to uplift the nation. Take care of place affairs among men. If you're if your other nations are helping us, why not you? This is your problem. The negro problem is being solved only as it can as it can. And that is by the Morris Divine, Morris National Divine Movement. If you have a nation, you must order to have a free national name in order to be recognized by this nation as American citizens. This is what is meant when it said, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all things will be added unto you. And there you have it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And there you have it. And that's a pretty good program. It's a pretty good, decent program that he established right there. Also, you know, our divine and national movement stands for the grand, the specific grand principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice to all mankind. You know, and they're trying to build a nation, reestablish a nation. But one products to manufacture and sell, sell to have a place to sell their products. Three, schools to advance their prosperity. Four hospitals for those who need the medical care. Five recreational facilities for our youth and age. Six temples to propagate the faith and extend the learning and truth of the great prophet Ali in America. Seven newspapers to spread our interests and also unite our brothers and sisters throughout the world. Eight housing for our people. Nine jobs for our people in our own places of business. And ten other products which are necessary for building and maintaining a nation of people. Now this is from May 1965, and it was dropped in, as I said before, the magazine called The Liberator, May 1965, by Joseph Jeffries L., who was the Grand Sheik of the Brooklyn Mars in New York City. This is Koski of Fun Day. We're gonna keep on dropping jewels like this. We gotta keep it coming, because we're here to educate and uplift our people and bring back and redeem our nation, a nation within a nation, our own economics, our own political science, our own social development, you understand? With our own unity, you know, our own education, which is the linchpin, because, you know, a person that's not educated, essentially, you know, not educated in political doctrine or economic doctrine or social development doctrine, is pretty much a, is a criminal. And you get through this through unity and organizations. You know, the last three I talked about, the education, the political, no, excuse me, the political, the economics, and the um, social development, those are sciences. You know what I'm saying? It's a science to that. You know, the other three, the last three, the unity, the organization, and the education, that comes through, that comes through, like I said, organization and union education, that comes to people getting together, you know what I'm saying, discussing the possibilities of making things happen. You know what I'm saying? To get to the unity, to get to the organization. Through the organization, you build up an educational program. The educational program is based off those three sciences. You know what I'm saying? The ed economic science, the political science, and the science of social development for the youth. They're perpetuating. You know what I'm saying? Because a nation goes beyond generations. Anywho, this is a Coast Gear Fun Day. Much love to you and yours. Hey, um, sign up and subscribe to the channel because this is all we dropping on this one right here, baby. You know what I'm saying? We'll get more into about the Liberator magazine 
and the articles they drop. We're going to bring this stuff on back for y'all. Much love to y'all. Peace.